If you're going to a party for the holidays, I'm gonna highly recommend that you bring Mandel bread with you. People won't know what it is, but once they taste it, they'll never forget it. Hey, I'm Danielle, and today I'm gonna show you how to make my Jewish Mandel bread, or how it's pronounced in Yiddish, Mandel Breutz. So I know it's called Mandel bread, but I and my family would consider this a cookie. It may not be shaped like your usual cookie, but it's sweet and delicious, and it's just my favorite thing in the world. This recipe is really important to me. My sister's best friend, Jody, her mom passed away from breast cancer, so I gained another sister, is essentially what happened. But before she passed away, she gave my mom her mom's recipe for mandel bread. And so every time I make it, it's like me saying, you're welcome in my home. Once all your ingredients are in there, you're going to take a spatula and kind of combine them. And once they're a little bit more combined, you ditch the spatula and you do my favorite part and you just get in there with your hands, make sure everything is mixed and distributed and your hands are extra nasty because that's the way you get the best mandel bread. It's kind of fun to shape the mandel bread because it's a really wet dough. <laughs> it sounds gross, but it's super delicious. So for the strawberry jam mandel bread, you're gonna wanna make a shallow well and kind of give it edges so that when you spread the strawberry jam, it doesn't fall out the side. So once that's done, you put the strawberry jam on, you spread it around and be generous because it's delicious. And then you'll take the other half of your dough and kind of spread it on the top. You kind of can't really spread it out that evenly, but that's why you leave a little extra in the bowl so that you can cover all the cracks. It's kind of like a puzzle piece because you have to get the top all together and you want to seal it up so that the jam is dripping out. You can basically put anything you want into mandel bread. People like walnuts in it. You can make them apple cinnamon flavored, different types of jams. So my favorite mandel bread is the strawberry jam, but the chocolate chip is a huge hit also. When I'm feeling like I'm far away from home, I used to make this for my college friends to kind of bring people together and just make everyone feel like family. It doesn't matter what time of year it is, it's especially fun to make during Hanukkah because there's plenty of oil in it. <laughs> I personally like my mandel bread a little soft, like not undercooked, but just on the cusp. But if you want it a little crunchier, if you're a crunchy cookie person, then I would recommend leaving it in a little extra. Once your mandel bread is out of the oven, you want to let it cool for about 10 minutes before you transfer it onto the cutting board. Don't sleep on the cinnamon sugar because the cinnamon sugar is the cherry on top of this damn good cookie. This recipe makes me so proud because it's not my recipe, but it's my family's recipe and it's Jody's family's recipe. And it's honestly, to me, the best way to bring people together. What brings people together more than cookies? Really anything goes here. Make it exactly how you want it and share it with your family. Because I can never get enough strawberry jam, I like to spread strawberry jam on my strawberry jam mandel bread. It's delicious and also adding a little whipped cream, I mean, you can't beat it. For the chocolate chip mandel bread, the best possible way to enjoy it, besides on its own, is dipping it in ice cream. Mm, this is the way to celebrate the holidays. Every time I make it, it's like me saying, you're welcome in my home anytime. Oh, yes!